Hi, welcome to AFTV. I have Julian with me. I'm going to start, right, 3-0. Were you happy or did you want to see more? I was happy at the end. Yep. After 80 minutes, not so happy. I thought oh. it was I thought it was probably the worst performance of the season, oh. considering the opposition that we're up against. Oh, wow, seriously? Yeah, seriously. I mean, Brentford, we tried hard. Yep. We were slightly unlucky mm. and we were playing a team in the Premier League. Mm. Tonight, we're playing a team in the old third division. Yeah, yep, yep. Um, but I understand why he's set up like he's set up, because mm. what's most important about a football match mm. is winning. Mm. And the way we win is not conceding. Mm. And the way he set up was not to concede mm. and to attack. Just, you know, to, to get to get goals, but it was 1-0. Yeah, 1-0 for, for, for a lot of the game. 1-0 for a lot of the game. The goal was a penalty. Mm -hmm. We didn't really look like we were the Premiership team. Mm. But for Arteta, he's under serious pressure. If I was him, I'd do exactly the same thing. Make sure you don't lose. Mm. Is that for Sunday, you're saying, yeah? That's for... For going his, forward. That's for his job. Mm. You know, if he'd lost tonight, he's under serious, serious pressure. Mm. So people aren't going to remember that performance for that long. No. The first 70, 80 minutes, we'll forget by tomorrow. Mm. But if we'd lost, we'd be remembering that. Yeah, so you're saying when the subs came on, like Saka, the Smith Rose, that's when the game changed for you then, you're saying? Because before then, I'm not going to say it was poor, but it was 1 0. We've seen a lot of 1 0. We saw it at Burnley, we saw it at Norwich, but it's not convincing. Is that what you're trying to say to, to me? It wasn't convincing, but it was also. They, they didn't look like they just wanted to attack. Mm. He just didn't want to lose. Yeah, yeah. And for him to set up in that way against such low quality opposition was worrying, mm. but understandable. Do you think we'll be all right against the sides like Tottenham? I don't know, when we play United, do you think we'll be able to last that long without conceding a goal? Well, against no, United, so no, 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 not United. <laughs> of course, of course. Well, of course. look, the first thing is Tottenham. Let's mm. forget about United for a while. Mm. Tottenham Sunday. I can never go into a game against Tottenham thinking we're going to lose. Mm. You know, the history's on our side. I've been, I mean, let's think, how many times have Tottenham beaten Arsenal? at our place. Once in 23 years. <laughs> Once in 23 years from time. Yeah, say it again. Absolutely, yes, yeah, say it again. Once in 23 years. Once in 23 years. Absolutely. So, so why wouldn't we go into Sunday's game being absolutely confident? They're not great. They're no better than Wimbledon back in the 80s. That's a big comment. Um, anyone that's surprised you say anyone you'd you'd want to take from this squad straight into the game on Sunday? Nuno. Uh, Nuno. 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 No. Nuno. Okay. Nuno, Nuno was okay. Mm. But would you play him? 100%. Instead of Tierney? Yeah. Deep it. Bro, deep it, deep it, yeah. Nuno, um, what was it? Um, uh, Tierney. Tierney. Yeah, has a high chance of getting injured, and then you lot have to do subs. Yeah, just because of Tini, you don't have, you can't do subs because of someone else. You know what I'm trying to say? Would you risk? Would you risk keeping Tini in there? Would I, would I risk keeping Tini in? Yeah, exactly. That doesn't seem to be a very valid point, in my humble opinion. Let me. Um, but but to answer the original question, the one that I would put in, obviously Partey, he's got to start. Martinelli, but he's yeah. always been my favourite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he do enough for you today, yeah? Absolutely. He was the difference. Okay. He was a difference, look. It was 1-0 because of him. It was that little spurt, mm. you know, little spurt of speed got us the penalty. Mm. He was, to me, apart from Partey, who's an obvious choice, mm. the only one that goes straight in. Yeah. Okay. Going forward, our attacking options. So we had we had Enketia, Lacazette, and like you said, Martinelli there. I've been worried about the way we're scoring these days. We started with a penalty. I think that relieved all the stress from the players, and that's when things started to kick into action. Previous games, it's been a it's been a free kick from Martin Odegaard or a scrappy goal against Norwich. The striker situation with Julian Sunday. Who who starts up top for you? Do you put Aubameyang back in? Does Lacazette hold his place? Do you put Martinelli back in? For me, Martinelli. Okay. For me, Martinelli. And I've said that all along, all season. I want to see more of Martinelli.